The opening of the third International Phytate Summit today in Miami, Florida, saw nutrition experts from around the world come together to discuss the latest research in phytate. And I've been catching up with some of the delegates to get their thoughts on the first day. So Gretchen, how have you found the presentations this morning? Exciting and interesting. I, I'm amazed. I, I do a lot of teaching and I think about the number of things that I will be needing to take from this to bring students up to date. The effect um, of the phytase supplementation was less when the diet contained additional calcium. It was truly new to me that the lower inositol phosphates are also important for digestion. Phytate destruction response in terms of the superdosin, we do see it very, very regularly. We feed very high levels of phytase. You get very consistent four to five points in broilers uh, improvement in, in weight corrected FCR. And it's empirically empirically related as much to IP4 and IP3 destruction as it is to anything else. A conference like this allows, you know, renowned experts in, on one single topic, mm -hmm. you know, and so you're, you're getting high-powered uh, contribution. One of the, the things that I'm hoping to get over to you today is that until recently, we really thought IP6 was a lethargic molecule just sitting inside a cell, perhaps having antioxidant properties. And uh, probably very important for this future um, research is that, and I mean that became clear already from what we have heard today, that this research, research becomes more and more interdisciplinary. Absolutely. With, uh, yeah. People from different disciplines. But my focus really is to, to look at the application into the industry. So understanding the raw materials and the phytate is critical in optimizing your phytase dose. The most embarrassing was again that the situation in vivo mm -hmm. is extremely complex mm -hmm. to see all these factors influencing phytate degradation. Myoinsitol is a potent mo metabolic modulator by mediating membrane functions, PIP3, PIP2, and intracellular signaling cas cascades, IP3, in mammals and also in birds. Therefore, there's a focus on identifying gaps in our knowledge and saying this is logical next steps, but we really need to focus in the future. And there are so many exciting things going on with all the interactions between phytate, phytase, calcium, phosphorus that we are not aware of yet. And then you add the microbiome into that and immune system and other things. So it really gets complex. And I think this meeting will highlight some, some of the next steps that need to be taken in that regard.